Hello, welcome to this webinar using Snowpipes to automate ingestion from S3. My name is Christopher Marland. I'm one of the data school consultants at the Information Lab. We're a Snowflake partner. We think it's pretty awesome. That's why I am surrounded by snow currently. Um, and the purpose of this webinar is to demonstrate how you can automate the ingestion from your data lake in this case, S3, we're AWS partners, so that makes sense for us, into Snowflake. Now, if you don't have AWS, then you know it's cloud agnostic Snowflake, so if you've got Google Cloud Platform, Azure, then, then you can do this. However, this video might seem a little foreign to you, so I'll just give you that warning right now. If you want to follow along, then I really commend your, your can-do attitude. Um, you need an AWS account and well, quite naturally, you need a Snowflake account. So if you don't have either of those, feel free to watch along. I'm sure you're going to learn lots and lots nonetheless. Um, if you do have those, please log in now. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let us begin. So a few concepts I would like you to understand before we get our hands dirty. Um, the first one is a stage. So a stage is a space where you can upload files. They can either be internal, so in Snowflake, or external. Uh, so for example, S3, the external stage we'll be using. Um, I would say the best way to understand a stage is to think of it as a shipping container. This is where you're loading your data into, um, so it can then be transported. Then, next, we have a pipe. Um, so a snow pipe is a continu continuous ingestion service that loads your data into your tables. Um, so think of this as a pipe, you know, it does what it says on the tin. You put uh, your data in there, in one end it comes out the other. Um, except, you know, normally in your house, the water is flowing automatically. You don't really have to do anything for your pipes to work. Um, so that's how uh, pipes work in Snowflake 2. Um, you don't really have to do anything with them once they're set up. Um, you know, water or data just flows through them nicely. Then we have a storage integration, and this is another important thing. So this is an object that stores a generated identity for your external cloud storage. So think of this as a key. This is what lets Snowflake into your uh, data lake and lets it take some nice juicy data. Okay, so here I am in S3. Um, I've got a bucket here called Snowpipe Bucket CM, CM being Christopher Marlin, my initials. And in here, I've got ingest and then mock data. So mock data is going to be where I'm going to put my data. Um, I'm going to go back to ingest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the S3 URL because this is what we, not the URL, the URI, sorry. Um, because this is what we're going to use in a bit in IAM. So what I'm going to do in IAM, IAM is I'm going to create a policy. Do it by JSON. And I'm just going to paste this down here for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste um, a policy from the uh, the Snowflake Snowpipe documentation. And that will be available um, in the description if you want to access that. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to copy this, place that here, and do it again, just copy that, but this time just on the bucket. And then this prefix I'm just going to set to wildcard. Um, what that means is it just means um, any prefix within this ingest is we're going to accept it, it's going to be completely fine. So there now we have the actual JSON of our policy, so just go to tags, I don't really want any tags, review policy name, I think I shall call this snowpipe ingest webinar policy. Brilliant, okay, so let's go create that policy, let the little wheel whirl, there we are, okay, so you can see this has been successfully created. Grand. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to actually attach this policy to a role. Um, and to do that, we'll first need a role. So I'm going to click on Create Role here. This is going to be another AWS account. I'm going to require an external ID. So for now, I'm just going to put my own account ID in here. And in external ID, I'm just going to put some zeros. You can see that I've already done this a few times. Next, I'm going to add permissions. So I'll put in webinar because I know oh we've got a few webinar policies. Uh, so we want the Snowpipe ingest webinar policy. Tags, I'm not going to add any tags. And role name, I call this Snowpipe webinar role. And there's no need to add any description, so I'm just going to create the role. We'll let that create. And now I'm going to have a look at that role. And I need to take a record of the role ARN. So you can see there's a nice, helpful copy to clipboard button. I'm going to click that. Um, and then we can use that ARN. Okay, so uh, now we'll actually start using Snowflake. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to create the table. Now, this table is just based on some Mockaroo data. Just go to Mockaroo, press download, and you'll get something that will work here. Um, and then we're going to create the storage integration. So I might call this, uh, let's say, webinar. SI, webinar storage integration. I'll put an underscore there. So the type is external. The storage provider is S3 enabled. We want that to be true. So now we need the storage AWS role ARN. So I'm going to go back to IAM. You can see they've got the role ARN here. Copy that and put that in here. Now we want the, um, the bucket. So I'm just going to go here. Copy the URI, and I'm going to paste that in here. Okay, so let's now run this query, and we now have our storage integration. Brilliant. Okay, so now we want to create a stage. So I'm going to create the stage. I'm probably going to call this the webinar stage. The URI. The URL. Let's go back to S3 and get that. Put that in there. And then we need just need to tell it what our storage integration is. And so that you can see, remember, that is our webinar SI. So let's create that. Oh, no, wait. We need to specify the database. So that is demo dot webinar there we are we have a stage brilliant okay so now we've done that so if you remember that is our shipping container that's where our data is going to be loaded into we're just saying that we're loading it into s3 really here um, now create pipe so let's uh, create one here so again that's demo webinar I'm gonna just call this webinar pipe auto ingest should be true the table we want to copy this into it's going to be demo webinar and what's that called mock data the stage is again demo dot webinar because the webinar stage and the file format um, we're going to be uploading CSVs so let's run that and there we are we now have both a stage and a pipe so just finish let's uh, see the pipe and we're just going to take note of this notification channel here. So I'm just going to expand this 
column because this is going to come in handy in just a moment. So we're now back in S3 and what I want S3 to do is I want it to send an event notification to our pipe. Um, so in order to do that I'm just going to go to properties on the, the sort of the base of the bucket. I'm just scroll down find event notifications where are you there we are I'm gonna create an event notification so I call this webinar event notif all object create events we want to be sent into this notification we want to send this to an SQS queue and then we want to enter the SQS queue ARN um, so we go back to Snowflake, if you remember this notification channel from literally five seconds ago. I'm just going to copy that, enter that ARN there, and save the changes. So now, whenever I put something into this bucket, a notification is going to be sent to my pipe. So, let's have a go at that. So what I'm going to do is just open up my downloads, I'm going to drag, and you can't see my downloads, uh, I'm just going to drag a file in here, mock data, and click upload. Okay, so I paused the video a bit just to give Snowflake time to go and retrieve that data, um, but I've done nothing else, just simply sat here and waited. I'm going to write select in capitals. I don't know why. I like doing SQL in capitals. Uh, so I'm just going to select star from our demo dot webinar dot mock data. Let's run that. And here we are. Data. Now you can see I've got a bit of an error here because I um, my first rows are not being recognized as well should have been skipped really um, so I can go back and change that um, but I'm not going to just now um, that's uh, that's possibly you know a challenge for you all um, I want you all to Google how to do that um, for now though I'm just going to celebrate the fact that this worked um, and hopefully you guys can can replicate this if you've not already. Um, if you have, you may want to see how to fix that first row issue. Well, there we are. We slayed all the way down that snow pipe from S3 into Snowflake in a fully automated fashion, might I add. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Well done to those who followed along and a special well done to those who've Googled their way around that first, uh, that first row headers issue. If you enjoyed this video, please check out and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be posting a lot of Snowflake content in the coming months. And yes, once again, thank you all very, very much. And I hope you enjoy your day, evening, night or whatever time it is at the moment. Thank you all.